review is going to have to take a bit of a detour. Uh, I noticed pulling all the box, I could see the front was a bit bowed, and I noticed a dent in the side cover here. These units are supposed to be shipped with a shipping screw in the bottom here to hold the pump assembly in place. Uh, they use rubber grommets on the pump to keep vibration and noise down, but these rubber grommets are not strong enough to withstand the weight of the pump being bounced around and shipping. Mm -hmm. So what they're supposed to do is put a screw in here to hold this still, then once you get it, you're supposed to take this screw out and it's all good. But here, as you can see, the rubber grommets had pulled away. There was no screw in here, there was no screw in the box, it wasn't in the bag, they sent it without the screw. So what happened is the pump bounced around, it hit the side of the cover and it also hit the circuit board. Let's see if I can get a view in there, but you can see those header pins have been smashed over. And there's a couple scratches here on the pump where it hit this screw and this screw is what, oops, this screw is what caused the bowing right here in the front of the face. This has got a big chunk of weight to it and it bounced around in there quite a bit. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and put the rubber grommets back in. Maybe I'll power it up and see if it works so I can check this thing out and give it a bit of a review. A couple other things I noticed right away. It does come with uh, four tips. Um, nice little assortment of tips. Now the tip, the what you want to buy if you need to buy aftermarket tips or different third-party tips is the, uh, the tips for an 850 style hot hot air fit fine you tighten this up with the screw it holds on nice now if you have an 858 style hot air these tips are not they, they won't work you have to use an 850 style not an 858 style tip but uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead see if I can patch this thing up and get it to run oh and one other one other thing this thing is missing it doesn't have a port for the pickup the uh, the ad, the SRA ad, um, SRA is the authorized dealer. Uh, their pictures and descriptions show the pickup tube coming out of here, and it's just blank, nothing there. And also, the pictures show extra uh, spring strain reliefs on the hose on both the handpiece and coming out of here, but this is just, just uh, no strain relief here, so it does kind of want to kink up a bit uh, something to keep in mind so now I'm gonna see if it works and if it does work I'm going to uh, turn it up on high and see if this thing is really as much power as they claim it is and I see it's already over a thousand watts so that's, that's a good start but the display is completely blank I have no control over anything it's Drawing a thousand watts though, and it's making heat, but the display is completely dead. Well, I guess that's from the. Uh, see if I can turn down the air pressure. See if it does anything. That must be from the pump whacking the board. It damaged something. Yeah, the, it's not responding to anything. Let me see if it. Ooh, it's getting hot as. Look at that. It's glowing red on the end. Ooh, that ain't good. I'm gonna shut this thing off. Yep. Ooh, it's actually blowing flames out. Holy cow. Well, the heating element, it, heating element is a thousand watts, which that's good to see because that's the whole reason why I got this. Um, was be, it's actually blowing flames out. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Let me turn off the light. Yeah, there's actually a couple of puffs of flame coming out of there. Uh, well, if this unit actually worked, it'd probably be pretty good. Um, I guess this review is going to continue after I get this sorted out with SRA. Now before I completely wrap this video up, I did want to show that now how this the base knows that the handpiece is, is in the cradle is there's a little button right here that it pushes and I'm not too crazy about that because it has to really sit just right for the unit to know it's in the, the handpiece. It has to just kind of sit tight where the old uh, cheaper 858 styles they use a magnet which I really like because it just has to be somewhat close and it knows to go into its rest sleep mode um, now with the 858 now the whole reason why I'm upgrading um, 
this guy just doesn't quite have enough oomph for the bigger stuff like larger BGA or anything with a big heat sink. This unit, this particular branded at A58 is about 600 watts. They're not all that high, but 600 just wasn't quite enough for some of the bigger stuff. Other than that, great little unit. Uh, so I'm looking forward to the 1000 watt machine. Well, it's actually supposed to be 1300 watts. Yeah, in the book it's 1300, I believe on the website it's advertised as 1200 watts. But hey, at 1000 watts, if it can actually make 1000 watts worth of heat, we're on to something. So I noticed when I was starting to box this thing back up and uh, wrap it back up, I saw here, it looks to me like there used to be one of those warranty void if removed stickers right here. There's just a piece of it left, but you can see where somebody had scratched it off and you can see a little outline of a sticker here. It looks to me like somebody over at SRA had sent me uh, tampered with hot air station or somebody who's in there for some reason or another. Uh, hopefully they straighten this out and get me a good unit that still has the uh, screw here in the pump to keep it from banging around and shipping.